For an abstract, I start with the word love because it grounds me in the canvas. I also just put a layer of paint on the canvas first just to ground me in the canvas. And then I'll look for shadows or shapes or anything in the canvas or a, a color will usually uh, appear to me, resonate with me. And I, this last painting I started with turquoise. And I'll use my brushes, I'll use a palette knife, I'll start to paint. Um, with the palette knife, I could get some real dark, intense areas and some interesting shapes within the, within the area of turquoise that was already painted. And I'll want some larger shapes and smaller shapes. And then I'll see, okay, what color would wanna join turquoise? So I'm looking at this particular painting and I, I really got into many shades of quinacridone magenta, red, corals, and pinks. And so there's, there's layers of paints on top of paints. And those are the two, if you look at that painting, those are the two primary colors that are actually dancing with each other because painting for me is a dance with the canvas. So how are these colors dancing? And then what is gonna complement those? There are bits of greens, several different colors of greens from uh, phalo green, olive green, permanent green, and all, you know, all these colors are mixed. The only color I really don't mix, oh, well, the, like there's a, there's a lot of line work at the bottom and that's quinacridone magenta. It's just one of my favorite colors. Um, but when you blend it with other colors, it's just incredible. And again, for me, when I paint, it's all about movement. So the painting is dancing. When I'm truly in a dance, it's almost like when people are truly in a dance, you're not really aware that you're dancing. It's not that you're aware of step by step by step. It's that you've so lost yourself in the process of what you're doing, which is exactly what happens when I'm painting. When I'm really painting well, let's say, 